saturated solution. This is sodium acetate, which is uh, this white crystal in here, okay, which uh, happens to be the stuff that they put on salt and vinegar chips to make vinegar when. Uh, they don't put vinegar on the chips because it makes them soggy, but when this hits your tongue, it turns into vinegar. And so uh, that's how you get the vinegar taste in salt and vinegar chips, so sodium acetate. And uh, you can see that the bottle is about this full right now. It was this full, and then I dissolved all of this in five milliliters of water to make this. I want you to picture five milliliters of water, okay? And I warmed it up, and then just kept on dumping this stuff in. And it kept on dissolving, and dissolving, and dissolving, as long as I was doing it above 80 degrees Celsius when I was doing it. It's actually a little bit more complicated than dissolving. There is some uh, decomposition going on and a, a little extra chemistry, but we won't worry about that. For now, let's just say that uh, basically maybe 300 grams of sodium acetate dissolved in five grams of water very carefully at high temperature. Now, it turns out that that is not stable at 20 degrees Celsius, which is what we have approximately in here. I can't dissolve nearly that much sodium acetate in room temperature water. If I tried, I'd get a bunch just sitting at the bottom. And so um, I made this at high temperature and then I cooled it down. This is a lot like the demonstration we did last year with the pop outside. Um, carbon dioxide dissolved in water at atmospheric pressure, it's unstable but it can't get out until we add what last year? Men Mentos. Mentos, which provided a bunch of little, starts with an S. You're kind of right, seeds for the, the bubbles to grow on. That scratches would have worked as well, okay? But we need something for the first bubbles to grow on to be able to let it come out of its unstable situation. Same thing here, it wants to be solid at uh, 20 degrees, but it can't until a seed crystal gets in there. Clear? <laughs> okay. Now we are going to take a single crystal of sodium acetate to act as a seed. And then once this crystal is here, the sodium acetate ions have something to grow onto. And we're going to get back to our stable condition here. And by the way, this is at room temperature. If you were to touch it, it would be around 20 degrees. Um, we'll see what happens after. Are you watching? And are you focused? I think so. Yeah, okay. focused. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Is now yeah, feel it. Cold. Hot. What kinds of reactions are spontaneous? Endothermic or exothermic? Exo. What, did I have to do anything fancy to that or did it really want to get into this condition? And so it's releasing a lot of energy. We can also think of uh, entropy as well. Did I end up, end up more or less ordered? way more ordered. In order for that to still be spontaneous, we must release a lot of energy at the same time. This is um, a chemical hot pack. You guys, in first aid kits, you guys ever seen those? There's actually, um, you do this and uh, you crack a little thing inside the container, which then is like putting a seed in. This reaction happens and it releases a bunch of energy and so you can have a chemical hot pack. And uh, actually similar things soldiers used to heat up their rations out in the field without needing fire or anything. Kind of cool?